Welcome to News Across Nigeria. At the beginning of this week, I'm Olumide Mukoli. Thanks for joining us. Coming up on the program. Protesters from Barakalawo community in Kaduna State blocked the Kaduna Zaria Expressway, making vehicular movement difficult for motorists. The Nigerian army debunks reports claiming that 23 soldiers are missing in Bornu State after an ambush by Boko Haram insurgents. And Kwara State Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed launches state's health insurance scheme with commitment to providing universal health coverage for citizens. We begin in the northwestern region of the country, the gridlock on the busy Kaduna Zaria Expressway, resulting from a protest by some residents of Barakalawu community in the Gabi local government area of Kaduna State. The people are said to be kicking against alleged encroachment on their land by the Nigerian Air Force, blocking two lanes of the expressway and leaving motorists traveling from Kaduna to other parts of the northwest stranded for over four hours. The Kaduna Zaria Road is the only one that connects the nation's capital, Abuja, to other states in the northwest as an expressway and some parts of the northeast. Passengers traveling to and from Zamfara, Kanu, Katina, and other northwestern states to Kaduna and the southern part of the country are stranded as a result of this road blockade. Our correspondent in Kaduna reports that the traffic has stretched for over 15 kilometers to the Kaduna state capital, leaving many of the commuters to resort to walking the long distance to their destinations. We came here to protect our own interest. Because the Air Force officers disturb us in our own villages. Whooping our women, beating our guys all the day, fencing our land. That is why we come here today to show the whole world that we will not agree with such kind of injustice. Because it's a pure injustice. We know places which belong to their high rankings in this government. It's not been taken by them, but they only come to the masses to take their own land, to you know, take it to be their own land, which is very wrong of them. So that is why we came here today to cry out, so that the government will hear us, each and everyone will hear us, the organization all will hear us, so that they should come with justice in this matter. We will not take it anymore. Because we did it in the time of Yakua, they resolved this matter, and this time again they were back to take the land, which we will not agree to that. We will stay here until the last breath. Yeah, we are the eligible people who own that land, not the Air Force. We have a river band there with them. That is their land, but not up to our own land here. So we will not agree for them to come here today to be taking our own land, to be their own land. That's what we will never take. And to the northeast and security matters, the Nigerian army has described as false reports claiming that 23 Nigerian soldiers are missing in Boronu State following an ambush by Boko Haram insurgents. It was reported over the weekend that at least 23 Nigerian soldiers are missing following an ambush by the insurgents on a military convoy at Boboshe village in Bama, local government area of Boronu State. Eight out of 11 trucks which were mobilized to clear the insurgents from the village are also said to be missing after the ambush which reportedly occurred on Saturday. But the Director, Army Public Relations, Brigadier General Texas Chuku, in a statement says the claim is not only untrue but also misleading. Part of his statement reads, quote, The Nigeria Army wishes to state that there was an attempted attack on troops at Kwakwa and Chingori communities in Bama area of Bonu State by suspected Boko Haram terrorists as a result of the difficult terrain where our vehicles bogged down. The terrorists also attempted to cart away troops operational vehicles but were successfully repelled by our gallant troops with the support of the Nigerian Air Force. End of quote. He said one officer and a soldier were injured with over 22 Boko Haram members killed in that incident while some of the vehicles have been recovered and more troops deployed to the area. And in the northwest again, Kaduna State, about one million households now have access to safe water and better sanitation in the rural areas, and that's according to the Sanitation, Hygiene and Water in Nigeria 2 project. The Kaduna State Commissioner for Water Resources, Mr. Ibrahim Hamza, says that over one billion Naira 
uh, as counterpart funding has been provided by the state government in the last three years. Access to safe drinking water remains a challenge in most states of Nigeria, especially in the rural areas. According to the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, UNICEF, children without access to safe water are more likely to die in infancy and throughout childhood from waterborne diseases. Just recently, over 100 secondary school girls in Kaduna State were infected with cholera as a result of unsafe water and poor sanitation and hygiene. Basically, the gastroenteritis is a waterborne disease, and from what they, what we saw in the school, I think the source of contamination should be fecal matter, and it's with the water that is contaminated. Troubled with this situation, the Kaduna State Government is collaborating with development partners like the United Kingdom Department for International Development, DFID, and UNICEF to tackle water-related problems in the state. To this to commission this the commissioning and handover of these utility vehicles by Governor Nasser El Rafai to 10 local government areas is to accelerate monitoring of the Sean project in rural communities across the 22 local government areas of the state. The long-standing support of our development partners, especially in the area of water, sanitation and hygiene, has contributed immensely in the reduction of transmission of oral diseases and improved health status through the provision of safe water sources uh, integrated with sanitation and hygiene. Software and hardware components of the Shon 2 project for number of beneficiaries with access to water supplies 1,557,400 the UNICEF chief field officer in the state calls on all concerned to join forces to ensure success in the state water sanitation target. UNICEF continues to appreciate partnership with the Kaduna State Government. I wish that this level of commitment is sustained through the project life cycle. With this latest development, it's believed that it will go a long way to address the challenges of poor sanitation and unsafe water is sustained. In health, the Kwara State, north central part of the country now, Governor Abu Fattah Ahmed has launched the state's health insurance scheme with a commitment to providing universal health coverage for citizen and citizens and residents of the state. At the event held in Ilorin, the state capital, Governor Ahmed called on residents to register and take advantage of the scheme. Meanwhile, the World Bank, who was also at the event, announced that $4 million have been earmarked for the state to improve its health facilities. National level and international level. Gathered at the Kwara State Banquet Hall in Ilorin, the state capital, are dignitaries including the governor, Abdul Fattah Ahmed, government officials, traditional rulers and foreign partners for the official launch of the state's health care insurance scheme. The scheme was first introduced in the state by the former governor Bukola Saraki, but now being strengthened by the Ahmed administration. With a payment of 25 naira daily, followed by an online registration, residents of Kwara State will have access to health insurance coverage for a low annual premium. For the state governor, the scheme brings the state closer to achieving its dream of universal health coverage. Based on urgent need to improve access to universal health care, it became necessary to expand the CHIS, which was considered narrow in scope due to its selective focus. The old scheme, therefore, had to be replaced with a widespread, comprehensive, better funded and managed scheme. A representative from the World Bank highlights are the benefits of the scheme. For Guarans here from, you will be able to look up to your health without fear of getting into poverty, without fear of going into a hospital or a clinic. But health begins at home. Do not just wait until you have to go 
to the clinic. Take care of yourself. His view is corroborated by the Executive Secretary of the National Health Insurance Scheme. We need state, local governments and, 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 and villages to be involved. And for us, seeing this gladdens us more than you all can think. The partners, including the Netherlands, represented by the Deputy Ambassador to Nigeria, Mr. Mikhail Delen, also promises to strengthen their relations with the Kwara State Government and to achieve universal health coverage in the state. You're watching news across Nigeria. You want to stay tuned. When we come back after the break, that's because we have the core commander, sector commander of the FRSC, going to speak with us on the closure of the third mainland bridge for repairs and how that will affect the traffic situation and what he knows about how the FRSC is going to handle their part of the deal. Stay with us.